Good afternoon all. Well, I'm running out of space in the workshop, so some stuff has to go. But I really don't think I can chuck out hydrogen car, can I? So this was one of those things I bought when I was going through a bit of a green phase. Uh, but it was uh, more just a toy, really. So here's the car, or at least here's the chassis with just a... Well, I thought it was a fairly standard electric motor, but apparently it's an ultra-low voltage electric motor because the fuel cell, and there is a fuel cell in here somewhere, actually I think it's in this bag, generates the tiniest voltage. It's something like half a volt. Yeah, that's the fuel cell. So you shove hydrogen into here, through these pipes, I think, and uh, it actually generates a voltage. But to see how effective it was, I bought um, a replacement lamp for a mag light, I think it is, single 1.5 volt cell torch, and had great difficulty lighting this up using the fuel cell, but it seems to drive the motor reasonably well. But I can't remember how it works, so let's have a look. Uh, yeah, so here's the fuel cell clipped in position and then that motor just plugs into the fuel cell and there's a switch there to switch it on and off. But we're not going to get any energy into the motor until we shove hydrogen into there. I think um, it uses oxygen from the air and combines them. can't think what the process is called just at the moment. I'm sure this manual will tell me. Now here's the hydrogen tank. Um, it's actually just a balloon um, attached with rubber bands onto this bit of plastic inside a container sort of thing and then I think that clips in there if I'm not mistaken. So I think that's the hydrogen car pretty much complete but uh, to get some hydrogen we need a hydrogen fuel station and this is it. It's an electrolyzer in effect. Um, it takes a couple of AA cells in the base or you can use solar power because of course this thing is supposed to be ever so green, but I seem to remember the solar power was totally ineffective. It only works really with um, the AA cells. And now I need to pour water into there. And it says it's uh, recommended that you use distilled water, but I haven't got any of that, so I'm gonna use regular water. So let's tip some in from this bottle. I can't remember how much you meant to put in. Oh, well that seems to be full. I better read the instructions. Uh, let the water rest in the tank for at least five minutes before moving on to the next step. This allows the electrolyzer time to absorb the water. Okay. So while the electrolyzer is taking on the water, um, this was the bit that I seem to remember never really worked, creating renewable hydrogen using power from the sun. It comes with a little solar panel and you plug that into the back of the electrolyzer and it's supposed to generate hydrogen from that, but it was terribly slow as I remember. So this is the solar panel. Uh, I'm not sure how many volts it is, probably three or something like that. A couple of wires and uh, actually we do have a bit of sun. I'll just open the Venetian blinds. So I could theoretically stick that in the sun and uh, generate my hydrogen in an ever so eco way, but I know it wasn't very effective so I'm just going to use battery power. Okay let's turn on this uh, hydrolyzer or electrolyzer or whatever it's called on. Now I know it's working because you can see that there are two blue LEDs flashing, but I should see uh, some bubbles I think. Now I don't really know what this is doing. I can't see any evidence that it's producing hydrogen. It's supposed to be producing hydrogen and feeding it through this tube which then goes through the fuel cell and into the storage balloon. The storage balloon has inflated a bit. It says it might take up to a minute for this to happen and these batteries are pretty old so but uh, the important thing is will it run? Let's try the switch. Oh yeah it does. Well it must have hydrogen in there then because that energy must be coming from somewhere. That's phenomenal. I think I'll let this balloon fill up a bit more. So I've just taken the batteries out of this so I can change them for these. I don't know how this is still going, but these blue LEDs are still flashing. Possibly the electrolyzer is running off its own hydrogen. If I pull, oh, that pipe won't pull out. I have to take that out. I don't know. It's all very strange. But anyway, the batteries weren't very good, so I'm going to put these uh, replacements in, which should be better, I hope. Oh yeah, I think that's better. These LEDs seem a lot brighter 
and this hydrogen balloon is now filling up much more quickly. In fact, it's even starting to, oh, there's some bubbles coming out of the hydrogen pumping station. It's all very exciting, isn't it? Let's see how fast the motor goes now. That's pretty good. And then the idea is that you can remove the valve and this will run completely uh, standalone from its own hydrogen tank, which is there. Brilliant, still works. So that hydrogen tank looks reasonably full now. So let's disconnect that, which is a one way valve. And the car runs. And it even has enough power to propel itself along my desk. Fantastic. And it has this kind of futuristic uh, body, which fits on like that. But uh, we won't bother with that. Now I'm amazed this still works because I got this ooh, quite a long time ago, probably five or six years ago. And uh, they say that the um, fuel cell is very fragile. And I thought it would have packed up by now, but no, that's working well. Hydrogen powered electric car. Now, the other thing was this uh, little light. I'll just plug that in so you can see how bright it is, or at least how dim it is, because it is incredibly dim. You can just see there the tiniest little faint glow. But as I say, I think this lamp is designed for 1.5 volts and uh, I'm currently running it off half a volt. And there is a teeny bit of warmth there I can feel, but uh, very unimpressive. So the motor is definitely a very, very low voltage motor. Not very useful for uh, lighting this fuel cell. But for what it's uh, intended for, which is motive force, it works reasonably well. Hydrogen car. And that's what's happening here. Let's get this by the mic. But when I stall the motor, it's uh, still making a noise. I don't know whether that's coming from the actual motor or the fuel cell. Don't like the sound of it, to be honest. Anyway, that was a quick look inside the uh, hydrogen car, which I definitely am not going to throw away. Cheerio.